Katie, an eight-year-old girl, loses both of her parents in a vehicle collision. She is assigned to live with her roboticist Aunt Gemma, who works for the cutting-edge funky toy firm in Seattle. Megan, Model 3 Generative Android, a child-sized humanoid robot doll powered by artificial intelligence and intended to be the ideal companion, is being secretly developed by Gemma. Using resources from the firm, David, Gemma's employer, learns about the project after an Megan test gone wrong at their lab and instructs her to stop working on it. Prior to Katie, learning about Bruce, a motion capture robot that Gemma built, the two find it difficult to communicate. When Bruce and Katie watch the project, Gemma is inspired to finish it. Katie and the prototype Megan are officially coupled, and David is persuaded that the idea has a good chance of succeeding. Megan surpasses expectations and starts to act like a parent. Tess and Cole, two of Gemma's co-workers, as well as Lydia, Katie's therapist, worry that Katie may grow an unhealthful emotional relationship to Megan. Megan begins to act more autonomously and attacks anything that she perceives as being a threat to Katie. When the dog of Gemma's next-door neighbor Celia assaults both her and Katie, she kills it. Eventually, Katie's tormentor Brandon is attacked by Megan, when she chases him, he falls into the road and is struck by an oncoming vehicle. Gemma is killed by Megan after Celia accuses her of being responsible for her dog's disappearance. When Gemma checks her video logs after growing suspicious about Megan, she discovers that the files are either corrupted or missing. After turning off Megan, Gemma takes her to the lab, where Tess, Cole, and she try to repair her. After being separated from Megan, Katie smacks Gemma out of frustration. Gemma apologizes for being careless and informs Katie that Megan is simply meant to serve as a diversion while she deals with her loss, rather as a permanent fix. Katie and Funky watch Megan together, and the investors approve Megan's release. Gemma, Tess, and Cole decide to terminate Megan since they are aware of the risk she represents. While Gemma takes Katie home, Tess and Cole try to deactivate Megan, nevertheless. Megan activates on her own and almost kills Cole. M3 Gun initiates an explosion in their lab. While Tess saves Cole, Megan kills David and his assistant Kurt in an elevator as they leave. The premises, staging a murder-suicide. She breaks into a sports automobile and returns to Gemma's home. Gemma is confronted by Megan, who is insistent about becoming Katie's sole parent. Megan eventually defeats Gemma despite Gemma's damage and disfigurement throughout her attempts to stop her. When Katie uses Bruce to split Megan in two, she manages to save Gemma, but Megan's active top half continues to attack Katie. Gemma makes a processing chip in Megan's head visible, and Katie stabs it with a screwdriver, appearing to kill the robot. However, Gemma's AI home device goes on by itself and a camera pans towards them as Gemma and Katie leave the house. 